product I design can be described as a rotating accessory hub. This product allows for the user to store accessories that they may come home with, such as keys, jewelry, wallet, or any small item. The product features a medium-sized open top base for storage and smaller ABS plastic compartments for smaller items and can be rotated. What led me to this design is constantly placing small accessories in random parts of my home. Shortcomings of the design currently stand with the base compartment that is relatively thin as it needed to be bent at a 90 degree angle but sacrificed some rigidity solved with a C-clip clamp. In the design process, I wanted to design something that could organize small and random geometry. First thing I needed was a strong center part to hold everything together as the product rotated. For this I chose a half inch diameter steel rod that I could cut to length with a hot saw. Then I knew I needed a strong base with corners to avoid the product from tipping over. I chose an aluminum block as it had enough mass and volume to not be tipped over but also hides under the compartment for safety and aesthetics. It also was not as heavy as steel, making the product relatively lightweight while still achieving its goal. For the rotational aspect, I chose a plastic bushing that was machined down to dimension with a hole slightly smaller than the rod diameter to allow for a rigid press fit. I chose Delrin plastic for its high wearability. In order to save cost during manufacturing, I designed this so that the bearing was also the part that stabilized the compartment base and held it all together. For the large compartment, I cut and bent a thin 1.5 millimeter thick aluminum sheet to 90 degree angles and designed dimensions as desired. The difficulty of this part was drilling a center hole for the rest of the assembly. Finally, I thermoformed two small compartments, starting by cutting wood blocks to the dimensions desired minus the thicknesses of two sides as a mold and sanded the edges for a more accurate thermoforming process. Unfortunately, the school thermoformer did not work out. So I heat gun and press the ABS plastic into the mold shape. In contrast to my final design, in my previous design, I wanted a key rack that was extended by the steel rod to the top. Though in making the product in real life, it added a pain point of blocking some compartments, so I cut it off. The assembly is easy after press fitting the rod and the bearing with a press fit tool. The product can be constructed by simply putting the parts together. All in all, I had a lot of fun with this project and learned some new skills such as machining with plastic and bending and drilling sheet metal. What stands is a hub of easy to use storage compartments that can be rotated and is small enough to be placed anywhere in any home for any consumer.